So they're awarding the Stanley Cup, and then, look, the, the thirsty Panthers are going to be That's picking right. up the Stanley Cup. But listen, now I'll tell now I'll tell you the story about how the guy that travels with the cup yelled at me. Okay, this was, and I can't in you know. Does it, he hate you more it, or less than uh, Oral? I don't know because I I may be incredibly memorable to him as the guy who did this, even with all the years of experience. Yeah, because I don't know how many people try to do what I did, and I didn't know I didn't know it was a big him. thing. Ah, you yeah, trying to eat him? No, 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 wow. no! You don't eat the Stanley Cup. No, when when the I Stanley- thought it was a tin foil okay. wrapped chocolate. A cup. Mm-hmm. Oh, is, is it? Wait, is the top of this where the chocolate fountain comes out of, and I could just dip my marshmallow <laughs> under it? Where is that? It's where really just that? a fondue fountain, isn't it? Daddy, so the guy, on. so the guy who travels with the cup, the guy with the hair, the guy with the Mark Davis haircut. Yeah, right? yeah. that that's uh-huh. the guy, right? You see him all the time. He's got the white gloves. Travels with the cup. So there's been a couple of times in my life where I have gotten to see the cup uh, from work. One time they brought it when I was working at ESPN, mm-hmm. and and uh, you got to go take pictures with it, which was kind of cool, right? It was, ah, that's great. Uh, you're not allowed to do anything. You can't put anything on the cup. Like, I wanted to put my Whalers jersey on the cup. Like, no, you can't do that. Can't let anybody uh, take a picture. Okay. I'm like, all right, that's fine. I understand. So, but that was where when they hustled you in, you got a picture, you got out. Now, this is about, I want to say about 20 years ago, and they brought the Stanley Cup to KABC, in in L.A., this is when I was producing local sports. Sure, um, Bill Weir, Rob Fukazaki, they brought the Stanley Cup. I don't know why they brought the Stanley Cup. And it's like, okay, the Stanley Cup was on some kind of tour. Eh, and so they brought. It's like, wow. So the Stanley Cup, and they brought the Stanley Cup into the office, and it's in our sports office, in our bullpen office, where like four of us sit, and the cup is right there. And I'm you like, started yelling, "Kobe this is the best!" <laughs> and crumpling up paper. No, and I'm looking at because I'm looking for where like they spelled Adam Dead Marsh's name wrong. They called him they did Dead March on yeah. the cup when the Avalanche won in '96, and, and and looking for all. All the names. I mean, it was. I'm like. I'm right up on it. I put my fingers on it. It was so great. And so he's sitting there, and we're we're do, we're, we're doing this. And he, you know, he's standing there as we're, we're with the cup, and we're good, and we're going to get some people to come in. We're going to do a story on it. Mm-hmm. We're going to interview him. All this kind of stuff. And I said, you know, and we talked about how heavy it was. I go, you know, it's 40 pounds or whatever it was. And I said, but you know, and some of the players, you would see that they can't lift it. Uh, and you know, when they win, they can lift, but the adrenaline, but when they can't, it's a tough thing to lift. And I said, Oh, let me see. And I take the Stanley Cup and I take it by the top and I take it by the bottom and I try to pick it up and I go, Woo, to pick it up over my head. And I get it up to the point where it's about even with my head. And the guy goes, Hey, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? I said, What, what, what? He goes, Put it down, put it down. And I said, What? He goes, What are you doing? I go, I'm gonna try to put the Stanley Cup over my head. He goes, You can't do that. And I said, Why not? He goes, There's got to be something for the players. I go, the players can't do it because I did it. He goes, no, that's a player thing. You can't do that. I'm like, why can't I do that? It's a player thing. The players get that. And I go, the players play and actually get the Stanley Cup. I- I'm here for two minutes with the Cup in my <laughs> my whole life. And he got really mad at me because apparently. Did you really smart off back in? I said, why? Well, I said, why? What did I do? What did I do? Like, I, you know. What do you mean? <laughs> so, so I feel I feel like Ty. Oh, I mean, I couldn't do it. There, there's times in I get when when I'm in. A back and forth with someone where sometimes I'll get a little standoff to go. What? What are you talking no. about? What are you yelling at me for? Right? And, I, and he, goes, he goes, "Oh, you can't do it. What are you doing? What are you doing?" And I said, "I said what? I, I can't do that." And he goes, "It's got to be something for the players, right?" That was his whole thing. And I said, "Well, the players play and they win the cup and they keep it and they make a lot of money." And so I'm just trying to see if I can pick up the cup. No, no, can't do it. Now, if he had told me, "Hey, we don't want you to drop it and break it," I was like, "Oh, that really? Okay. Probably That's, should have been that, it." That, if he said that, I said, "Oh." You know what? I completely understand because if I break the Stanley Cup, boy, I'm not going to be that guy. Dude, you were out of line completely. I'm not going to be that guy. But the but the fact that he told me no, I was, no, you're, you're, I was breaking some kind of rule. That seemed like a ground rule that should have been established before the uh, cup was left you to its own out there devices. Thinking like you won the cup and no touching you of the Stanley Cup, <laughs> of course. But I mean, it's course. like he didn't walk up and try to pour a forty in it and drink from it. No, I mean that's for the players. They I, can do that. And I, I don't want you. Pour Smirnoff ice light in it. <laughs> I wanted no. I wanted to tell a couple of stories of what I knew some players did with the cup and say so they could do that, but I can't do this. Like I Uh-oh. like I know a couple of things that, that there's pretty good Stanley Cup lore. What do you know that I could have? I can't say it on the air, Why but not? I know a couple of things. Well, we, this is. Can you give be, us a first letter? Uh, <laughs> S. <laughs> I know some things that have happened, and it's not the S word you think I'm thinking. Uh, it's not that. No. They asked in the cup. It's 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 <laughs> no. The word is sandwich. No, uh, and I and I'm like, okay, there's been some things. 
but I can't do that. I mean, really, you're going to get mad at me for paying about other people. Do, but I get it if it was a safety thing because you didn't had drop sleeves because the uh, maybe he didn't see your tries and you wouldn't. You wouldn't no, believe my, you my, can get, look at my triceps. Over, I wore my head. sleeveless t-shirt today so I could lift the Stanley Cup over my head. And here's the other <laughs> thing: is that I've seen pictures of people yeah. in their lives holding the Stanley Cup over their head. So that's Maybe why you like them a load more. of crap. No, no, those no. are players. Those no, are people who won people. the cup. No, these are people They're who were families. like No, these are people who are like doctors and somehow no. oh, I have the Stanley Cup here or or a the doctor of the team? No, no, no. Maybe no, he gave the no. guy LASIK for Just free. A, no, there's a guy who is friends <laughs> with one of my white, with the guy okay, in the place. Hang on. There's a guy, there's a guy. There's a guy who is good friends with one of my wife's good friends who it was on the beach holding the Stanley Cup over his head. Look at the picture that. I, ah, what was his Jason, name? Just look at name? the TV right now. That's what they get to do. Yeah, but you I can't get to, be doing. That. I get to do it in a, in an office by myself if I want to. It's no. the Stanley Cup. Now, if I drop it, that's on me. But I should be able to do that. Why can't I? I brought the Stanley look, Cup man, in. That guy's entire life is centered around keeping the cup safe and preserving the sanctity of that cup for the players. So I wonder if I'm the only guy with him that's ever tried to pick the Stanley Cup up. Oh, no. no. You know, other people try to do it? That's a long line, no. man. All right. Well, Look, man, that, that's how he knows he's alive. Get back <laughs> to him. Good. I got to yell at a guy today. I got to yell at this guy with curly hair. Tell him to put the Stanley Cup down. It was crazy. He's like a rent-a-cop. That's yeah. his one chance. <laughs> He's like Paul Blart. Yeah, with yeah. The cup. He came actually came in on a segue That's when he his stopped. One me. time to get you. It, he hey. can't do it. But I remember, I remember him looking at me and the disdain he had on his face for me. I was like, "Wow, man! Like, you think like I just like I just took it and spray painted it." To be fair, though, I like I, I will give you that. You know, there should have been some ground rules, like no touching of the hair or face. Mm -hmm. I mean, you got to know these things before you go to reach for the cup. Mike, look who you're talking about, though. No, no, he, he would have gone quickly, and there might have been a Big Mac already inserted at the top. <laughs> You're lucky you I'm a, citizens arrest you. I'm eating a Big Mac and fries out of the top of the Stanley Cup. Boy, this is really good. You say and, like uh, that's never happened. And, and I'm not going to do that knowing full well what I know has been in the top of that cup for some <laughs> stories. Again, that stuff is You don't allowed. think they clean it? That story's ha-ha-ha. I mean, they ha, polish ha. that Oh, thing. hey, ha-ha, what a great fun story that is. But, oh, but this dude who's 5'9", that if he can lift the cup over his head, it's a pretty good achievement. No, I'm not going to let him do it. Oh, okay. I got the cup even even with my eyes, even with my head. Now, the thing is, I was in an office, so I don't know if I could have picked up because I might have touched the ceiling, and I'm, then, again, I don't want to break the One important cup. question I have. Yeah. And it's one of the most important questions I'm ever going to ask you. Okay. <laughs> was that story before 2012? That story was, oh, that, yeah, that story was late. Oh, it was 2000, it. something like that. Yeah. Ah. 2000, yeah, it was before 2012. Got any toothbrush yep. and toothpaste? <laughs> Hey, man, it's a thirsty world. Oh, what did yeah. I tell you? But, dude, that had to be about 12 <laughs> years before. the cup in 2012. Yeah. Well, you know, maybe they watched the maybe they Well, watched now you're cup. connected to legends. Maybe they got a, pl a plunger? <laughs> Forever. Well, the thing is, the cup changes. What people don't know is that the cup changes, that once you get to too many names, they take the, the bottom rung, the plates, the bottom yeah. plates off, and it just becomes the name of the team. So your name is only on the Stanley Cup for a certain amount of time. Now, granted, it's on there a long time because it takes them sure. a long time to have to take the names off. But like when they run out of room, they replace the bottom level with, here's the names of the teams, like 1975 Pittsburgh Penguins, 1976. So And then when you get later on, you still see the names on the cup. So I don't know, I don't, I don't know where they are with the names right now. Like where the teams are and where the names are, but they, you know, yeah, they've you, taken you, the Blackhawks off for you sure. My... <laughs> You're close there, Frostburg. You're close. Just keep thinking about your lips on the cup there. Yeah, uh, no thanks. Yeah, yeah. Wait, what part of the cup did you kiss? Yeah, stop. What part of it? No, tell me. If you kiss the top of the cup, oh, whoa, I hate you. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna wear a mask. I was gonna make a joke. On. I don't even think I can. I no, think it's too no, no, early. No, 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 no. If you <laughs> if you just if you just kiss the outside of the cup. Okay, that's fine. Cause that, but if you kiss, if you kiss the top of the cup, if you kiss the top of the cup, go see. A doctor. I hate all of you. Go see a doctor. Go see. Go see a doctor tomorrow. <laughs> Poop again. <laughs> it's gonna be like uh, it's gonna be like uh, contagion with me. <laughs> every everybody's gonna be in the in the beds going. I I I I, I kissed the top of the Stanley Cup. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Well, you know, I mean, when we announced the end of the show in like fifteen years. Maybe that's the last story you tell. That's the last. I got I got receipts. Let me talk about that guy and that guy and the thing I heard over there. Exit out about a fresca. Exit swollen dome. The Jason Smith show with my best friend Mike Harmon. Congratulations to the Florida Panthers. Ex Whalers head coach Paul Maurice, Stanley Cup champion.